Elam in Carcerem Flamerum. Chastery in Carcerem! Memorable TV characters cast a spell on their viewers, something these characters are more than capable of doing. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 witches and wizards on TV. For this list, we're looking at those small screen enchanters and enchantresses who use their powers for all manner of reasons, either good or bad. If you'd like to see more magical top 10s, be sure to check out our lists of the top 10 movie witches and the top 10 movie wizards. Oh, Wizards Weekly! Let's see if they printed my letter to the editor. I wish I'd take those out for people who already have subscriptions. <laughs> Number 10. Rita Repulsa, The Power Rangers Franchise 10,000 years ago, Rita Repulsa was imprisoned in a space dumpster on the moon. She remained there until two unsuspecting astronauts opened the dumpster and changed the world forever. Ah! After 10,000 years, I'm free! It's time to conquer Earth! Trapped in a dumpster for 10,000 years would make anyone a tad grumpy, especially when they're an intergalactic space sorceress with a penchant for creating chaos. Don't leave! You'll miss my coming out party! That's when I destroy the nearest planet! Rita Repulsa was a major foe of those Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on several of their TV series, using her magic wand to grow her minions to impressive sizes. Rita eventually turned away from evil and became Mystic Mother, a force for good but she was more fun when she was bad. So you think you can stop me, do you? Finster, hurry up with those putty patrollers! Yes, your evil badness, I'm molding the last ones now. Number nine, Fiona Good, American Horror Story Coven. Look, why don't you just go away? I don't want you here. How else do you want me to say it? You're still angry, I can tell. My God, you are the Supreme. The supreme witch of a coven descended from the original witches of Salem. Fiona Good is beautiful on the outside and dripping with evil on the inside. She's obsessed with remaining both beautiful and immortal and uses her considerable powers in this pursuit. She thinks nothing of draining the life force of others to keep herself attractive and active. Fiona's ruthlessness is chilling and immensely entertaining. Her name may be good, but she's oh so bad. You are nothing but an envious old bitch. Number 8. Gargamel, the Smurfs Now I'll find out exactly where those Smurfs are. Show me, oh magic crystal ball, where to find the most miserable creatures of all. What's this? No, 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 I mean the Smurfs. The evil wizard Gargamel, or Gargi as he's sometimes known, just has a thing against little blue people. He's always after the Smurfs, sometimes just because he wants to destroy them, and sometimes to use in his magical experiments. Smurfs, mythical little blue creatures believed to be the missing ingredient in the legendary formula for turning lead into gold. Now I remember. I got it wrong on a test last year. Wizards have been searching for Smurfs since the beginning of wizardry. It seems that Smurfs are somehow useful in turning stuff into gold. Although a pretty powerful wizard, Gargamel is also pretty incompetent. Luckily for the Smurfs. This is Papa Smurf's handiwork, but he'll pay for it. He'll pay double. Yeah! Number seven, Mr. Gold, Rumpelstiltskin, Once Upon a Time. Rumpelstiltskin, I have a question for you. No, you don't. They do. Snow White and Prince Charming. <laughs> Once Upon a Time's evil queen Regina Mills is one nasty witch, but she's bested by the crafty Rumpelstiltskin, known in Storybrooke as Mr. Gold. Hi, my name is Mr. Gold. We met briefly on your arrival. I remember. Good. I have a proposition for you, Miss Swan. I, uh, I need your help. Elegantly sinister, he's a malevolent trickster and a master manipulator. He likes nothing more than to lure people into his traps by using his magic, which always comes with a price. What could you possibly get from me? 
Funny you should ask, can you read? My firstborn child. <laughs> she is quite important. Say what you like, though. The guy may be untrustworthy, but he's got real flair. Enjoying the view as much as I am. Mm -hmm. How dare you? I'm a married woman. Not yet. Wedding's tomorrow. Hmm. Number six, the Ice King, Adventure Time. This is my kingdom. You guys can't just scoot about on my land willy-nilly. I've got rules here. The mighty and weird Ice King is the friendly foe of Finn and Jake on Adventure Time. Rise, <laughs> monsters of snow, and go! He's up, Finn and Jake! Uh-oh. Originally a kindly human named Simon, his use of his magic crown twisted and warped him into the pathetic but maniacal Ice King. Hello, my name is Simon Petrikov. I am recording this tape so that people will know my story. Oh no, turn it off, Pimo, turn it off! His obsession with kidnapping princesses is a little creepy. And his army of penguins named Gunter is, well, also a little creepy. Oh my glob, Jake, is this it? Could this be the Ice King's evil secret? But his bizarre thought patterns and non sequitur reasoning make him one villain we look forward to time and again. No more nice. Now you get ice! Try watching those tapes with frozen eyeballs! <laughs> Number five, Samantha Stevens, Bewitched. I am a witch. A real, house-haunting, broom-riding, cauldron-stirring witch. It must be the champagne. Bewitched is a beloved TV series with one big flaw. Who could ever believe that a witch as wonderful as Samantha Stevens would fall for a drip like her hubby, Darren? He's a dear, sweet, wonderful, perfectly marvelous man. Oh, my poor baby, he sounds simply horrible. As portrayed by Elizabeth Montgomery, Samantha is smart, funny, sneaky, and even sexy, in a safe 1960s network TV kind of way. A generation of kids grew up trying to twitch their noses like Sam, especially when trying to perform housework. But without the magic of TV, it didn't have the same results. Darren, please forgive me, but I'm sure that you'd consider this an emergency. <laughs> First, the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Number four. Willow Rosenberg, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Do you have series intrigue? You should check it out. Check it out? From the library where the books live. Right, I'm there. See, I want to change. Buffy the Vampire Slayer's Willow Rosenberg starts out as just a shy but brilliant computer nerd, a member of the Scooby Gang, and Buffy's best friend. Oh, Buffy, she was just being Cordelia, only more so. Don't pay any attention to her. But when she begins experimenting with magic, Willow discovers a natural affinity for it. Just a little taste. She eventually grows powerful enough to resurrect a temporarily dead Buffy and even almost destroys the world, which is wicked in all senses of the word. Hey, black eyed girl, what you doing? Get out of here. Oh, no. You're not the only one with powers, you know. I'm not joking, Xander. Get out of my way, now. <laughs> Number three, Piper, Phoebe, and Paige, Charmed. In this night and in this hour, I call upon the ancient power. Bring back my sister. Bring back the power of three. Piper and Paige Hallowell and Phoebe Matthews are sisters with a secret. They're the most powerful good witches in the world. Where's our sister? Kill me and you'll never see her again. Hmm. So maybe we should just torture you instead. <laughs> Their individual powers are awesome and enable them to freeze time, predict the future, and move objects through sheer mind power. Leo, don't you dare walk away from me again. I mean it! 
Known as the Charmed Ones, they fight evil in all its many guises, all while trying to maintain separate lives as normal, everyday people. All right, okay, already we'll, we'll spend the afternoon with our noses in potions. But can I go save the sole source of our income first? Number two, Sabrina Spellman, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh, look, Hilda. She's levitating right on schedule. Let's wake her up and tell her she's a witch. No, let her sleep. She starts a new school tomorrow. Sabrina the Teenage Witch inherits magical powers from her warlock father on her 16th birthday. Now, you're not alone. I'm a witch, Hilda's a witch, your father's a witch. And I suppose my mom's a witch too. I always thought so. And they kind of turn her world upside down, in a good sitcom-y way. Ugh, I hate doing this. If only there was some way I could bring these frogs back to life. I think his heart is somewhere around here. Look! Tad's alive! How'd that happen? <laughs> it's Frankenfrog! Sabrina juggles the challenge of learning to control her powers with all the struggles of being a high school student, and does so with charm, wit, and a bubbly personality. She's so likable, she doesn't need magic to put a spell on people. That's great, because, you know, I know a lot of times on first dates I make the mistake of talking too much or acting really desperate or putting myself down. Oh, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, I'll try better next time. Before our top pick casts a spell on us, here are a few honorable mentions. Show me the present. You may have created me. But you were never my father. Edgebanu Utusis! Oh, now that's cool! I wanna make two of me so I can give myself a wedge! Uncle Montour, do something! My powers don't seem to be working! Number one, Merlin Camelot. I'm Arthur, who are you? His name is Merlin and he's not welcome here. Then he'll be on his way. Tell us, okay. No, do as you're told, boy! Will someone explain what is happening here? Our pick for the top TV wizard has shown up on numerous series, including Merlin and Merlin The Quest Begins. But he's at his best in 2011's Camelot. And if you still had a family, they be next! Don't speak of them! Here, he has all the power one expects of a master wizard, but is complexly drawn. Always battling to keep his own dark side at bay, he commits crimes. Why don't you break free? Then do what? Hmm? The mad sorcerer against the people. They'll never trust me again. But does so in order to bring about good. He is the behind-the-scenes creator of both King Arthur and Camelot, and a force to be reckoned with. Will you come back? You will be great. Do you agree with our list? What other TV witches and wizards should we have put on this list? For more magical top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs>